Hello everyone. We are discussing that how to get placement in core technical companies just like SAP. And today we are discussing about the technical round. Technical round is the second round which is after the online test. Technical round or technical interview can be of two modes. The first mode is offline. If your company is visiting your campus and they are taking your interview physically then it is called the offline mode. Now they will ask you the question face to face. They will give you the questions and they will ask you the programming and they will ask you to write the programs. The second mode is the online mode. In the online mode company will not visit your campus. They will take your round telephonically or via online. In that case they may ask you the technical questions but there are less chances that they will give you the program to write. So this mode is the online mode. For the technical round the knowledge of different different areas are required. The first area is programming. In the programming the basic knowledge of C, C++ and object oriented programming is required. This one is the basic knowledge that everybody must know. You must know what is overriding, what is overloading, what are pointers, how the object are created, what are classes, what are different functions, what are the different different data types. Then if we have the knowledge of Java and Python that will give us the extra advantage. Then we must know the operating system. In the operating system we should be aware about the deadlock, how the memory is managed, what are the paging, what is demand paging. Next one we should be having the knowledge of database management system. In the database management system the knowledge of normalization and SQL query is required. Then we must know the data structure. In the data structure how to find out the complexity. What are different sorting algorithms. Then the next one is computer networks. In the computer networks, the OSI model, TCP IP model, what are their layers and what are the functioning of their layers. Then the next one is software engineering. In the software engineering, we are having the different different case studies. Then further, what are the different type of testing which are performed, how the use case are taken. So that knowledge we must know. We should have the idea about the current technology. The current technology is just like IoT, Big Data, Cyber Security. Then at the last we must have the knowledge of the internship and the projects that we have made. So now we are discussing about the programming. In the programming we are discussing there are so many questions which are asked by the technical companies like SAP in their earlier technical rounds. So the first one the company may ask you the programming language you are comfortable. So company may say in which programming language you are comfortable then you have to come up with the answer just like C, C++, Java, Python. Then company will ask you the questions out of that language. They may ask you about the types of programming languages, pattern printing program. There you have to print the pattern just like printing the star. Printing the star pattern in the linear time complexity is the company's pet question. Then they may ask you about the Fibonacci series or finding the substring. They may give you some kind of string and out of that you have to find out the substring. Program to print palindrome number or they may ask you about the feature of oops. In the feature of oops you must know about the abstraction polymorphism, inheritance and encapsulation. The next one is polymorphism and its types. Here you must know about the static and dynamic polymorphism. In the static polymorphism there is overloading and in the dynamic polymorphism there is overriding. Then is inheritance and its types. There you must know about the single, multiple, multi-level and the hierarchical inheritance. Find output of given program. Company may give you some kind of program and they will ask you to write the output of that program. Then multi-threading. Then concept of object-oriented programming. 
they may ask you about the classes objects how they are related with the real life and other examples then the framework of python and storage classes then the next one is why java is not pure object oriented just like we are having the dotnet which is totally pure object oriented language and why the java is not pure object oriented language they may ask you they may ask about plus plus and minus minus operator or they may ask you the program to multiply the matrices the write a program to reverse a number here they will give you some number and you have to reverse it swap two numbers without third variable so by taking two variables you have to swap the numbers program to control traffic light here you have to create the traffic light by the programming skills these are some set of easy questions that technical company may ask you now we are going towards the tough questions or you may say these are the pet questions of the technical companies here they may say program to move all zero elements to the end of array in linear time complexity the company is very much interested about the time complexity because making a program is very easy but to make a program in limited time complexity is a tough job so now in this program they will give you some string which contain the zeros and you have to shift all the zeros to the end then program to print star series pyramid pattern in linear time complexity using one for loop so using one for loop in the linear time complexity you have to print the star pattern then program to find smallest and second smallest element from array in linear time complexity so they will give you some array there you have to find out the smallest and second smallest element in the linear time complexity then program to find two elements in array whose sum is equal to the value in linear time complexity so here again they will give you some array and they will give you some kind of value there you have to find out different different numbers whose sum is equal to that value so that combination you have to return the next one is program to find largest and second largest elements from array in linear time complexity here they will give you array with some numbers and there you have to find out the largest and the second largest element in the linear time complexity next is program to pick an alphabet from your name and print from pig letter till end alphabet now they will give you some kind of string and they may say that this is your name and out of that you have to pick some letter and with that letter to the end you have to print the complete name or program to pick an alphabet from your name print from picked letter till mid alphabet here they will give you some kind of string or they may say this is your name and here again you have to pick some letter and from this letter till mid of the name you have to print the complete name so these two programs are related with the finding the substring from your name the next one is dbms which is database management system where the company may ask you few questions like are you familiar with term sql means you have to tell that are you aware about the sql or not then normalization here mainly you must know about what is first normal form second normal form third normal form and bcnf then ddl and dml commands further sql queries like write sql query to display the name of students whose marks are between 60 and 80 so here you have to give the names of those students whose marks are between 60 and 80 write sql query about having clause so in this you have to use the having clause in the sql query 
SQL query to find second highest salary. So such type of SQL queries can be asked from you. Here they will give you a piece of paper and there you have to write the SQL query. Then SQL join just like the inner join, outer join with the examples. They may also ask you about the equi join, natural join etc. Difference between update and alter command in DBMS. So these are some questions which can be asked from the DBMS. Then the next one we are having is OS which is operating system. Their company may ask you about the type of OS. Just like we are having the batch operating system, real time operating system, embedded system. So there the multiple operating system are there that you must know. Then internal and external fragmentation, memory management, deadlock. So these are some main main topics out of which company may ask you the questions. Then the next one we are having is DS which is data structure. In the data structure company focus on the linked list questions just like the insertion the node in the beginning, insertion the node at the end or inserting the node into the middle. They may ask you about how to traverse a linked list and how the memory is allocated. Is it the sequential manner? How the pointer are used in the linked list? So these type of question can be asked into the linked list. They may also ask you about the singly and doubly linked list. Then how to break circular linked list? Means if we are having a circular linked list then how we have to break it? Because if we are moving forward with the pointer, it will like a loop. So how can we break it? There the header link list come into the picture. They may ask you about the sorting algorithms like bubble sort, heap sort, insertion sort. So you must know about all the sorting algorithms and majorly about their complexity. Because company may ask you that how to calculate the complexity of bubble sort or insertion sort. So the complexity you must aware. Calculating time complexity of programs. Well, I have already told you that programming anybody can do, but making the program into limited time complexity is very tricky part and which is the tough one also. So companies are more interested about the linear time complexity. So majorly they will ask you the questions on the linear time complexity or into the limited time complexity. So there you must know how to calculate the time complexity. Then the next one we are having is the CN which is computer networks. In the computer networks company ask about the intranet versus internet. They may ask you about the extranet. The very pet question of the company is OSI model and TCP IP model. There they will ask you about the different different layers of these models. What are the functioning of these models and what are the network devices which are placed at these models. So you must know everything about OSI and TCP IP model. Then IPv4 addressing. How subnetting is done with the IPv4? What is the difference between IPv4 and IPv6? So these questions you must know. Then congestion control. How the congestion is controlled into the networks? The next one is the routing. Here you must aware about all the routing algorithms just like shortest path routing, flooding etc. So the next one is case study. The case study is the topic of software engineering. Here the questions on given case study. So they will give you a case study and out of that you have to study that complete case. Then they will give you some questions and you have to give the answers of that questions. Case study is nothing. But there is a circumstance which they will give you and out of that circumstance how you will behave, how you will act that they want to know. According to you what is the best solution of given case study. It's like they may say you that you are stuck in between office and home and both are in trouble. So where you will go? That is again the part of the case study. So such type of situation they will give you and they will ask the question from you. Then is software models on given case study. So in the case study which they are providing, they may ask that which software model that can be implemented. 
so such type of questions they may ask into the case study the next one is the current technology so you must aware about the recent technology which are there in the market just like aws which is amazon web services you must know about the artificial intelligence machine learning internet of things big data cloud computing sensor networks data mining neural networks cyber security bitcoin deep learning these are the recent technologies which are there in market you don't have to go into the detail about all these technologies but company just want that you must be having the basic idea about all these technology so if company ask you the question about some big data or the cyber security you will be able to answer that what are these technologies and how we can work with that then the last one is internship and project this is very much important about the technical companies because whatever the internship you have taken and whatever the projects you have made they will surely going to ask the question out of that and that will play the major role in your selection so they may ask you the question have you done any project obviously your answer should be yes because if you have not made any project then for sure you are not deserving to be the part of the company so your answer should be yes you should tell about your project the summer training project or where you have done your internship so that project you must tell to the company tell me something about your project what was your role in that now that is very much important because sometime we make the project into the group of 2 or 4 now if you are saying that i have only done with the documentation you will not be selected but if you will say that you are contributing everywhere in the documentation in the coding part in the testing part you was there then your selection is confirmed summer training project questions so wherever you have done the summer training they are going to ask you the questions out of that connectivity done by you in the project that is again the very much important question because when you are making a project then your front end should be connected with the back end so which type of connectivity you have used odbc jdbc or any other connectivity that you must know it and what are the steps involved for that connectivity that you must aware question based on college and internship project product and software made in internship see product or the software or the project these all are the same terms that means which project you have made in your internship they will ask the question about that company may ask you tell me about your summer training project means what you have done is it your complete project you have made it to the group but it was the single contribution then framework used in project which type of framework you have used while designing your project then tables modules coding testing used in the project see this one is very much important because if you have made the project you will be aware about all the tables which you have designed what are the different different modules and functions in your project which type of coding you have done and which testing you have performed just like either it is black box testing or the white box testing or is it alpha testing or beta testing which type of testing you have performed so that company want to know so this is the complete syllabus and different set of questions which are asked in the core technical companies just like sap so prepare all of them and you will be selected all the best